If you've just launched your WordPress site, typed into Google and nothing, then you're probably sitting there wondering, did I do something wrong? Or is my site broken? Here's the thing, your site probably isn't broken, it's just hidden. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through six dead simple fixes to get your WordPress site showing up on Google. No coding, no guesswork, just results. Let's go. All right, first things first. WordPress can literally tell Google not to index your site. This can happen when you're building your site and forget to turn off this one setting. Here's what to do. Head to your WordPress dashboard, click settings, then click on reading and look for the box that says discourage search engines from indexing this site. If that box is checked, uncheck it. Hit save and done. This removes the no index tag and finally tells Google, hey, I'm ready, come crawl me now. And I know what you're gonna ask, what's crawling? Well, it's how Google bots discover your site. They scan your pages, follow your links and decide what to store in Google's index. If your site hasn't been crawled, it won't show up in search results. Let's test if your site is even in Google's system. Go to Google and type site semicolon yourdomain.com. Remember to replace your domain with your actual site address. If nothing pops up, don't panic. Here's what you need. Set up a Google Search Console account. Verify your site. You can use an SEO plugin like All-in-One SEO. This makes it so easy. Then submit your sitemap. It's usually something like yourdomain.com forward slash sitemap.xml or something like that. All-in-One SEO also does this automatically, so you can let that handle it. Once that's done, Google can start crawling your pages. You can also use the URL inspection tool in Search Console to request indexing of key pages like your homepage, which can speed things up too. Install All-in-One SEO. It's beginner friendly and really powerful. Here's why it rocks. It helps you set up title and meta descriptions super easily. It creates your sitemap for you, like I mentioned a bit earlier, and it flags SEO issues before they become problems. Even better, it guides you while you write, showing you what keywords you're targeting and how to improve your writing. Set it up once and it works quietly in the background like your own SEO assistant. Fix four is write content Google actually likes. And this is a big one because Google doesn't care how pretty your site is. If your content is too short, too vague, or too generic, think about the kind of world we're in right now. We're in a world where people generate content with AI. And if our site is just vague and generic, just like the content that AI can generate, well, then it's not valuable to anyone. We've got to step it up a bit and put in our expertise, our experience, and show that we actually care about what we're writing. Here's how to make it win. Make every page worth reading. Shoot for at least 500 words, but make it as in-depth as you can. So 1,000, 1,500 is fantastic. Use keywords naturally, and what I mean by that is just think about the words you would type into Google to find your site and the things that you're writing about. Figure out what you would write in your search query and then use the words from that search query to then inform the kind of content you're going to write and what you're going to write in it. Break your content up with headings like the H1, H2, H3 so it's easy to skim. And instead of writing basic headings like something like welcome to my blog, try to make the headings more descriptive about what you're writing so they inform the viewer. Okay, this one's huge. And if you've not heard of backlinks, well, basically Google trusts sites that other sites link to. Those are called backlinks and you don't need hundreds to get started. Just a few good ones can help move the needle. Try these, share your site on social media, add it to Google business profile or free directories. Ask a friend with a blog to link back to your best post. And also write a guest post in your niche on a website that can link back to your site. With this, you're building credibility and helping Google find your site and your content faster. Google loves 
fast sites. So do people. Easy ways to boost speed are install a plugin like WP Rocket, compress images with a plugin like Optimal, or consider using a lightweight theme like the Sydney theme, which is fantastic and super fast. We actually have a whole workshop on speeding up your site, which you can find right here or linked right here. All right, let's do a quick recap. Uncheck discourage search engines. Submit your site and sitemap to Google Search Console. Use all-in-one SEO. Add strong keyword rich content. Start building backlinks and speed up your site. None of these take hours. Most of them done in under 10 minutes. If your WordPress site hasn't shown up on Google yet, it's not broken, it just needs a nudge. Go follow these steps, bookmark this video, come back and let me know when your site shows up in search. And if this helped, hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe for more WordPress tips. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.